for his deliverances on this mountain, for his power, his presence, his grace upon his servant, our Father in the Lord. Give him praise, give him glory for his undoubtable heart on this mountain. Father, we are grateful, we are thankful. Be magnified, be exalted. Give him glory for massive help we are seeing on this mountain. To you alone be all the glory for our in house operation and fellowship and for the outward operation and fellowship father we thank you we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor we give you adoration go ahead and thank him for what he said to do even in this money we know and we believe that we will see your act your glory your power in this assembly this morning be thou glorified in the name of jesus christ we have given thanks somebody shout a better amen psalms 102 verse 1 to 2 hear my prayer O lord and let my cry come unto thee hide on thy face from me in the day when i am in trouble incline thy ear unto me in the day when i call answer me speedily lift your voice and say father i ask for your speed intervention on this mountain in my life today in my destiny hear me lord hear my cry deliver me from all trouble in the name of jesus go ahead and begin to ask of the lord to hear us on this mountain today father incline thy ear unto us O oh god and heal our wounds go ahead and provoke the compassion of god upon us and jesus was moved with great compassion and he healed their sick matthew 14 14 father be compassionate unto me unto my brother unto my sister on this assembly in this house today father be compassionate unto us oh god in the name of jesus blessed be your name in jesus precious name we are making the man on the sent word of the lord psalm 107 verse 20 he sent for this word and he healed them and delivered them from all of their destruction say father i make the man for the right word today put the right word in the mouth of your servant for my sake for the sake of my brother and for the sake of the people connected worldwide father give us the right word that prophetic word that life transforming word i make demand for my portion today lift your voice and provoke the unction behind the word the lakurabata a fubara theater in the name of jesus the cutting edge word father sending my way today in the name of jesus in the same line acts of the lord father lay your help upon your servant for my sake and for the sake of my brethren in the name of jesus go ahead and acts of the lord father release fresh oil upon your servant help him that we may receive help blessed be your name be thou glorified because we know without a doubt you will do what only you can do in this house today be glorified please go ahead and thank him give him praise give him glory give him honor in jesus precious name we have prayed can i hear life transforming amen put your hands together for jesus i'm aware without a doubt that you are in with your testimonies from previous encounters the minister of god is at the entrance great the glory gate to receive you and in a short while you'll be called upon to share with the people of god in the light house give him praise clap offering great great one as we receive the praise team to take us further I'd like you to lift up your hands wherever you are to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Just wave those hands in gratitude to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Daily as I live, as often as I read, let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Daily as I live, as often as I breathe, let my whole life be expressed.
expressions of your grace. We cry, our Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed. Open up your mouth and let him hear it.
One more time. I have more than a song. Can somebody offer yourself to Jesus? I say, in sacrifice to you, Lord. I have more than a song.
Cherish. So I that all about the cover of my somebody cling to the old yes, Lord. Overcame the devil by the blood of the Lord and by the words of our testimonies. Somebody celebrate the blood of Jesus. Celebrate the sacrifice on the cross. Celebrate the one who loves you so much, who came to die for you. Celebrate the one who has purchased you with his blood. Somebody give the Lord a shout. Somebody who understands the mystery of the blood. Who knows that by his tribe you were healed. Can you jump? Can you shout? Can you turn around and celebrate the triumph? Give the Lord a shout. Somebody look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I'm here to give God praise. Despite every challenges all around me, I'm here to.
Somebody give the praise. Somebody one more time. Give the Lord a shot of victory.
Psalms 40 and in verse 5. Many, O oh Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are towards us, Lord. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto me, unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Somebody we are going to lift up our voice and begin to celebrate the king of kings we are going to honor him we are going to honor him we are going to give him the praise for the wonderful works of god which we saw during the kaduna healing and deliverance crusade the souls that we are saved bodies healed lives transformed you are going to lift up your voice and say father we give you the praise. We celebrate you for your wonderful works, for your thoughts towards us, for the preservation of lives, souls healed, bodies healed, souls delivered, so to say, bodies healed. Lift up your voice and begin to celebrate the King of Kings. Go ahead and begin to give him the praise for the acts of God that we saw, the wonders of God which we saw in the Kaduna healing and deliverance friends who save go ahead and begin to celebrate the king of kings the lives that we are taught the land that was transformed the numerable numerable countable numbers of testimonies miracles go ahead and celebrate him go ahead and give him the praise go ahead and honor him father we give you the praise lord we worship you lord we celebrate you lord we thank you we give you the praise we celebrate you for your wonderful works souls deliver us bodies healed for the countless number of people that we on ground oh lord we celebrate you for your help which we saw your hand that was upon your servant our father in the law lord we celebrate you your hand that was upon your servant the mighty move of your power the mighty move of your presence lord for the lives that can't remain the same lord we thank you lord the aftermath of the testimonies that follow the healing and deliverance to say lord we celebrate you we give you the praise oh lord we give you the glory oh lord lord they are more than we can number lord we thank you lord we worship you lord we celebrate you 
Lord, we give you the praise. We honor you for your hand upon your servant. Lord, we celebrate you for honoring the word of your servant in the healing of your people. Lord, we worship you. Blessed be to your name, O oh Lord. We worship you. In the name of Jesus. That amen can sound better. Psalm 103 and in verse 2. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Everything you have done in Kaduna law cannot be forgotten. Cannot be deleted, Amen. cannot be confronted. Amen. Say, Father, we ask that everything, all the benefits, the healings, salvation, everything you did in Kaduna, we ask it shall be permanent. Nothing shall be added, nothing shall be separated in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and make them. What you did, everything you did in Kaduna is permanent. Nothing shall be added, nothing shall be reduced, nothing shall be separated. We ask to God, let it be permanent to God. The healings, the encounters, the deliverances of God, the testimonies, let it be permanent, let it be permanent. Brandes cantati, shalabada bada bada ba. Brandes set the liga ba, bala bada bada ba, shalaga bada ba, shalaga bada ba, shale de de de, malika da ba shandra ba, braya ya 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 ya, Nothing shall be separated. Nothing shall be twined. Nothing shall be reduced. We decree it is permanent. It is permanent. Whatever you do, it is permanent. Whatever you do, it can be tempered with. Yeah! Yes, Lord, Kaduna shall remain filled with your power. Kaduna shall remain under the siege of your glory. Kaduna is filled with the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. That atmosphere remain permanent. Yeah, legable. Branda Scandali. Lagabadabadabadaba. Shalabadabadabadaba. Shalagabadabadaba. Yeah, Legos. In the name of Jesus, we are going to pray against every reprisers and counter attacks. Luke chapter 10 and in verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Lift up your voice and pray after me. Say, Father, we take authority over every satanic reprisers and counter attacks from the Kaduna crusade. We silence you by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Fala kokara pala tenele tere sotaya. Ila toro ko paratana la toria patana sa. Ila nana le pere tekele tere pelete sa. We take authority over every satanic reprisers and counter attacks from the Kaduna Healing and Deliverance Crusade. 
we silence you by the power and the blood of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise for all that you did in Kaduna. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. God said, I made the ears. Will I not hear? We have prayed to a God who hears and will answer. Give Jesus a big hand of praise for answers to those prayer or prayers. And you may be seated wherever you are. Father, we are grateful for what you always do on this mountain. It is testimony time and we want to have the following come share their testimonies wherever they are. Please, you make your ways forward. Let's receive Joy Frank. Richard Amifuli, Mrs. Madike Catherine, Tessie, Ekiri, Ekiri Jui, Mama Grace Onoja, M.M. Amos, and Mercy Emmanuel. Again, Mercy Emmanuel. 
M.M. M. Amos, Mama Grace Onoja, Tessie Ekirijwe, Mrs. Madike Catherine, Richard Amefule, Joy Frank. While they make their ways forward, I want to take the testimony of Jonathan Divine. Wherever you are, you may rise on your feet. And um, just for recognition, Jonathan Divine and his father said Jonathan was diagnosed with osteosarcoma. It was a cancer of the bone. Um, and he came in here in a very debilitating state, couldn't walk. The father actually carried him on his shoulder. Yes, that's him standing behind there. Um, carried him on his shoulder. And three weeks before their arrival here, Jonathan couldn't eat. In fact, they were just trusting God so that he wouldn't pass before that week was out. And he came in a healing and deliverance setting like this. He was located by God and hands were laid on him. The father said from that day, he began to amend. He began to eat from then. Strength came into him. The same young man who couldn't walk today, so much activities and we're trusting God that he will be back for the perfection of that testimony. Give Jesus a big hand of praise for what he had begun in the life of Jonathan. Yes, your name and what God did for your granddaughter. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Frank. Joy Frank. I come to testify the goodness of God in my life in Dunamis. Year 2023, my granddaughter made me to know Dunamis. My uh, uh, mother gave birth to her November, November 20, November 15. Then November 16, the devil came to strike. Then, he got, after I bought a better finish, then I now hand over her to her mother to dress her. After I now dress her, I wanted to, want to lie down on the bed and the guy got scream. That was a day old baby. Day old baby. The testimony is about, this, about baby. this baby. One day old. The baby got scream. That's why we, that's how we ran to hospital. When we get to the hospital, they say we should register. We, they collect 7,005 for us. Then I say we should deposit 500,000 naira. And I begin to scream, call God, say, God, where will I have five for 10,000 naira? That's how the first, the first daughter, girl scream, till today, he cannot walk, he cannot talk, he's on the ground, see her. Then, and now, after, and now, after the, the incident, when we go to hospital, they are now begin to cry, One, two women now walk up to me, now say, Madam, what is the matter? And now explain everything. Then now ask me, do you people have them do not miss in your place? And I say yes. I come from Sulejah. Come to do a mugo in the do say. That's how that's how we get to this. And I come say okay. Go to do not miss. This baby two baby in, in his hand. They are testimony of do not miss. Go to do not miss. Heal and deliver service every Tuesday. That Tuesday, that day is not Tuesday. So this or the sixteen. And I begin to shout. My do, my son got confused. Don't know what to do. I say my son come. All right. Well. They were referred to come to Dunamis in that state. She said, after the baby screamed, the body color of the child began to change, right? Yes, in that very desperate condition was when they came, was when they came to Dunamis. And then they, were, they met some officers here. Tongues of fire were placed on the ear of the baby. And one of the ministers prayed for this child. And this history was told that the same thing happened to the elder sister. That was it. From that day until forever, there was no other incident of convulsion. Baby is normal. Not a dime was paid in the hospital for any procedure. And they have come to give God praise. You can see her very much alive and well. Thank you, Jesus, for this restoration and the termination of the agenda of the enemy. Congratulations. Give the Lord a praise. Every agenda of the enemy for anyone's family here is returned back to hell in Jesus' name. Yes, your name and what God did for you, sir. My name is Mr. Richard Amefle. I want to thank God. He saved my life last year, November. I had a very 
bad accident that one took my life, but God did not allow me to die. At a point, I can't even drive myself. I, at the point, like, I have, the enemy was giving me reason to stop coming to church. Like, said, I think I just had an accident. I continued coming. The car, the enemy damaged. The God replaced the car. He gave me two cars from, two cars from this November to, to December to now. God gave me two cars but ten, two, ten times better than the one that had accident. I just want to return all the glory to God for showing me mercy. Mm. After that accident, he said he had, the vehicle was terribly damaged. He had phobia for driving. He had had to even take Uber or Bolt to come to church. And he said within the space of just a couple of months, from December till now, God has blessed him with two cars. For shame, you shall receive double. And that's his testimony this morning. Congratulations for restoration and preservation of life. Yes, Catherine, you will confirm your name and tell the church what God did for you. Praise the Lord. I am Mrs. Madike Catherine. I want to bless the name of the God of this commission. I came here 2021 looking for the fruit of the womb. I got married 10 years. I was first seeing a lot of uh, miscarriages. So when my colleague asked me, when we married, I took my transfer to join my husband in Bini. When I was there, a lot of miscarriages. People were calling me, that Monogba and Jay, all those things. I'm the one eating, the, eating my children in my womb. So my colleague now says I should come because I'm a winner. We are all one. So she said I should come here. I now came. I came that February. I have an encounter. That, that February when I came, one of the service, a woman stood there. She said she has been having a lot of miscarriages. That a baby used to die in her womb. But when she came here, that baby jumped back to life. So her daddy now stood up and said, everyone believing foot of the womb received that day with anger. And I, and I, and I saw a little seed in this uh, altar. I said, God, please do it. I don't want to face miscarriages again. Then when I go to my son, daddy, in the dream, he was climbing all white and white. He was climbing a mountain. He did not talk to me or me. I did not talk to him. Oh. I was just following him gradually. He now climbed. He disappeared. I did not see him again. I turned. In that revelation, I saw a big snake came out of me. So when that snake came out of me now, I, I screamed and I woke up. Fear in me. I said, so this thing was in me since. So I now slept again. I now dream again. A man came again while sharing baby clothes. And I was the first person that gave me that clothes. I said, no, me, I was carrying twins. I said, no, I want twins. He said, I should be happy that I was the first person. I should collect this baby, this baby gang, girl. Yeah. And I collect it. I woke up. So on the month of February, uh, March, and I missed period. I didn't even know that I missed period. They came to me in the dream. I said, did I have I missed my period? I said, I don't know. So, then at the October... Well, apparently that was the serpent that was sucking out all her fetuses. After that encounter in February, in the month of March, like she said, she missed her period, and God saw her through that gestation. This is the evidence of that pregnancy after 10 years of waiting and trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Today, God is visiting someone and giving someone a testimony in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. And we decree that the followers of the children be released in Jesus' name. Yes, your name and what God did for you. This girl was born at six months. This one standing like this. The devil dared her. See how chubby and how lively and how everything. Not, not like a premature, a preterm or anything like this. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Please proceed. Okay, sir. Praise the Lord. I am by name Esther Ekirigwe. I am here to testify of the goodness of God. By me is my first daughter, Tracy Ekirigwe. I often see myself in Dunamis altar, thanking God, thanking God, thanking God, when there was no problem. 
suddenly my daughter was diagnosed type 1 diabetes and it was serious that she went into coma, diabetic coma, for one week and she was not talking. So when I saw that, I, I saw the need to run to Donami's altar in my area in Makodi. That is modern city under Pastor Kefas. So we prayed together. I put my seed, sacrifice seed on the altar and I said, this is why I often see myself in Donami's altar. This is the time. So when we prayed, the following night when we prayed, her shoes that, she, that we knew her with got missing in the dream and all this while she had not been dreaming, that night she dreamt that her shoes that we were missing, that she found them. When she, when she told me of the dream, we went back to the church, we told the, the pastor, we prayed, and we said that even if I stand at the gate of Donami's headquarters, that my daughter will be free from insulin, high dose of insulin and diabetic drugs. That is why I'm here to testify of the goodness of God. Oh, well, um, type 1 diabetes, like she said, daughter was unconscious for that length of time, also affected her, her kidneys, legs were, were swollen until interventions, prayers, and seeds were sown. Like we can see now, those legs are totally deflated. She makes her urine now, and God is perfecting what he had begun, and she has come to show herself to God on this altar. Congratulations. This is Mama Grace Onoja. You will speak for Mama. Praise the Lord. I'm here to thank God for what God did for us. My mother, my mother here is a testimony. She survived a stroke four times. The first affliction came 2017. Call was put across to our mom in the house and she prayed for my mom and she recovered her health. After then, series of afflictions keep coming, but God keep keeping her life until the loss of her dad last year, 2023, April. So, so many attacks, people were like laying fingers against her that she's responsible for the death of her husband, the sister of my father. So after everything, we came back from the village after the barrier. So my mother started hallucinating because they said that she's not going to see this 2024. As my father died last year, that she too, she's going to go that last year. So we all rejected it. So that 2023, she was hallucinating, talking to herself. What she did not say, she see, she said she sees. Now, b before the hallucination, her case was got so bad because after the death of her husband, she had a relapse of that um, um, stroke again, and she was confined to a wheelchair, right? She was brought in here in November during the Kingdom Power and Glory World Conference in a wheelchair. She couldn't walk, and God's servant prayed for her, and God restored her, like we can see. That's the first testimony. Mama is on her feet, and she's doing well. So, about the hallucination now. So the period that she was hallucinating, uh, on uh, October last year, she, she, she told the little girl in our house that she wants to go and bathe, that she should go and get her razor blade. So the lady went and uh, got razor blade for her and she went to the bathroom. Instead of cutting her fingernails, she started cutting her neck, that she wants to kill herself. So if you look at it... Now, all those scars you are seeing were scars from that mutilation from the razor blade. So I thank God for everything. So they took her to the hospital and the, the neck was sutured. It was very bad. God intervened. Her son was in the house that day and saw, somehow was moved, went in, saw mama in blood, mutilated, wanted to kill herself and she was rescued. And that spirit of death was arrested. Today, mama is fine. No more hearing of voices. She's right on her feet. Giving praise and glory to God. Give Jesus a big hand of praise for that testimony. 
Torture is actually an insane devil of suicide stroke. Insanity. Go ahead, give the Lord a prayer. Amen. Yes, your name and what God did for you. My name is. I should remove it. Yes. Okay. My name is Ememe Moss. I'm here to return all the glory to God for what He has done in my life. In 2022, August, I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, a kind of cancer that affects the blood and bones. I came here, I tell God, if you heal me of this thing, I will come back and return all the glory to you. I came back here in this altar when the doctor, after so much treatment, I came, the doctor said, Amen, we didn't see any, no, no cancer cells. When I returned from India that day, I said, God, I will not get to my house. From the airport straight to this church, I came, I lie down on the altar. I said, God, you have done this one. In this process of this cancer, it affected my two kidneys. I still believe God, I've done dialysis for nine months. I say, God, I believe you, but I've come to return the glory to you. You that heal me of this one, kidney will not be nothing to you to do for me. I woke up there, entered the car, I went home. I was still doing dialysis. But to the glory of God, last year, October, the doctor called me, amen. It seems your kidney is picking up. We need to remove this thing. They removed for almost six months now. The tube has been taken off my body. And I know that my permanent, my healing is permanent. In that, that central line was taken out. No more dialysis. God healed her of multiple myelomas and healed her of failing kidneys. Today she makes her urine and she's here to give God praise for giving her life back to her. Give Jesus a big hand. A praise for this As God said, my God will never fail. Oh no, as God said, my God will never fail. The same yesterday, today, and forever. As God said, my God will never fail. As God said. My God will never fail. Oh no, as God fail. My God will never fail. The same yesterday, today, and forever. As God fail. My God will never fail. You will fill your heart today to overflow. As the Lord commanded me, bring your vessels, not a few. He will fill my heart today to overflowing with a whole ghost. He will fill your heart today to overflowing as the Lord commanded me. Bring your verses, not a few. He will fill my heart today to overflow with a whole. Life. 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 Commanded me, and your verse is not a few. Fill my heart today to overflow with a holy ghost. 
and power. Every trace of death, the spirit of death, from cancer, from terminal organ failure, they stand here today and I declare in their cost to their roots. In the name of Jesus, live and fulfill your days. In Jesus' name. This testimony is of the restoration from the realm of the dead to life. You'd confirm your name and tell the church world, tell the world actually what God did for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Mercy Manuel. I want to thank God for my life. It happened on Wednesday in my location in Buari, Amosha Day. I served. I did not feel any pain. I reach home around that canton. Say I will not sleep before commanded the day. If I sleep, you will be disturbing me. That is the way I sit down with my son and my daughter in the parlor. Before I know, my stomach begin to pay me, begin to tell me you will stand up like this, you will come down. That is the way, like like that. That abdomen will just rise on one side and go down as though there was a living thing in that in that abdomen that was moving. It will move from the left to the right. From there, my children say they will call their daddy. I say no. If you call your daddy now, you will not be at peace. Because we not stay together. It be at, uh, this side here and we are buried. Okay. Uh, he's working here. From there, in the, in the following morning, the pain continued. My daughter run and buy some drugs for me. He say I should take and lick some of them and shoe and drink, uh, take water. My son now told me, my little son, he said, Mommy, take salt and water and anoint your hair. From there, my daughter now called my husband and said, See, Mommy is feeling uh, sickness that they don't understand Mommy anymore. And, and I told her, I said, Why are you calling that? Leave him so that he will concentrate in work. He said, No. And the father told her that uh, she was on the way going to office. When he reached office, he will call her your back. He, 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 he immediately he reached office. He said he lined down in the altar and pray. After he pray, he called me. That it's not now that he's walking in the bare house of God. That I will not die. We, we suffer together and we will live together and eat the fruit of our labor. I say amen. From there, I, the pain continued. The, the following... The, I, this was Wednesday to, to Thursday now. All right. Thursday night. On Thursday night, around that around 4 to 5, because I did not sleep till It's Thursday morning already, 4 a.m. in the morning. Around 4 to 5, and I saw myself going. And when I'm going, I wear white from hair, go down, like the way I dress like this. The white that I wear, you so shine. I just they go, but I don't know what I'm, where I'm going. On the way when I'm going, I saw Daddy appear like this. Mommy will appear. Like this. Mom, daddy now say, where are you going? I say, I'm trouble. Say to where? I say, I don't know, but I'm trouble. Daddy now say, go back. It's because of you we come back from Kaduna to come and attend to you. And from there, mommy now laugh. Mommy say, ah. And that was, that was the first night of the Kaduna Healing and Deliverance Crusade. So the mantle of God over this commission appeared in God's servant and handmaiden and said, go back. It was because of you we returned from Kaduna to attend to this issue. From there, the mother did not say, first of all, say that see your, your, your tree that you plant, you already get fruit, you're about to uh, rap. Why are you going? Mommy, not say, mommy, not lie. mommy say, go back. Go back. It is said to go back. That is the way I turn back. As I turn back, my clothes turned normal clothes. I did not wear white again. When I reach, I reach uh, on my way going back, I saw myself in the road from our church in the branch, uh, to the Fulani Buari branch. I saw myself coming from like the from church, go back to house. That is the way I reach house. When I reach house, and I get and I come back to myself. When I come back to myself, I be my tummy continue pain me, turning, coming up from there, and I feel like push. I said to what is going on? Father, what is going on? From there, I feel to go I, I ease myself. 
Because the way I'm pushing, it's not that uh, I'm pregnant. He never said that I do my period. Why am I pushing? I, I don't even know because I never feel that pain before. And when I, I bend down, pushing, see what come out of me. Well, she said while that was on, she could hear her cervix making sound and adjusting itself, opening up. And when she, what came out was terrible. I don't know whether we'll, we'll, we'll show it, but that she could hear the crack, a cracking sound from her cervix. It opened and that substance Very demonic, demonic, came out from her demonic, system. Demonic, 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 demonic. It's enough. And in an instance, she received her peace. Stomach pain was gone. I don't know what to feel, but for me, I feel that was the realm of the dead. And God ushered her back into her body, and she's back with us today. And that was death that came out of her. Yes, sir. That was death that came out of her. Death. All the way to Calvary, when for me, Jesus went for me, my Savior went for me. All the way to Calvary he went for me. He died to set me free. Hallelujah. All the way to Calvary he went for me. My Jesus my Savior went for me. My Savior my Jesus went for me. All the way to Calvary, he went for me, and he died to set me free. Sing it one more time. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. My Jesus, Jesus went for me. My Savior went for me All, All the way to Calvary He went, he went for, for me He died, died to set me free You will not go before your time Every premature journey The devil has scheduled for you The journey is arrested the journey is cancelled. You cannot go before your time. You are a standing shack of corn. You are not permitted to be harvested until it is time. In the name of Jesus. Oh Please be seated. Lift up your hands and let's appreciate the Lord this morning. Father, thank you for these amazing testimonies. Thank you for these things that you've done in the lives of our brethren. We are appreciative of you. Thank you for your death at the cross of Calvary. That is speaking for us again and again and again and again. We give you all the glory and the praise. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.
two. You repaired my many shadow dreams. You gave me the heart to dream again. You have always kept my hope alive. I cannot thank you, Lord, enough. You, you repaired my. faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for bringing so many out of the clutches of death. Thank you for your help. Thank you for the deliverances. Thank you for the salvations. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for bringing these ones back from the regions of the dead. We are grateful. Thank you for arresting that woman's premature journey of death. Thank you, Father, for your help. Be thou exalted. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please, you may be seated. God's faithfulness is overwhelming, and we appreciate him. In the Kaduna Crusade, in the morning of Friday, God's servant actually took testimonies of two young men who were brought back to life by the mantle of the commission. They both were present in the meeting, only to come here today and be hearing the same kind of testimonies. God is indeed faithful in our midst. I want to return all the glory and the praise to him in the name of Jesus. I don't know how you came here today. I don't know what... You are trusting God for, but I want you to know that if God did those things, he would do it for you as well in the name of Jesus. The young lady with multiple myeloma said that if God healed her of the cancer, multiple myeloma, then he was going to give her new kidneys and heal her of the kidney failure that was responsible for the dialysis. And indeed, God was true to that word and God healed her. So many testimonies today. That other baby would have been rendered a vegetable as well. But they stood, they were introduced to dynamis, and God delivered the second baby 
from that same kind of condition after screaming out in the bed. God is faithful. The testimonies are numerous. We cannot take them all. What would make a mature elderly woman, a grandmother woman, take razor blade and begin to cut her neck in an attempt of suicide? Minus that is insanity, might have been involved, but also the spirit of death was after her and God arrested it. Father, we give you praise. We magnify your name. I'm going to go through the seeds of destiny very quickly today and then we'll proceed. God's servant wants us to finish the service on time this morning and so we'll be as fast as we can be. Our topic today is the danger of alcohol and drugs. The Bible passage here says, who has woe, who has sorrow, who has contentions, who has babbling, who has wounds without cause, who has redness of eyes, is those that tarry long at wine. They that go to seek mixed alcohol. Proverbs 23, 29, and 30. In the Kaduna Crusade, during the midnight prayer, one of the testimonies that God's servant read was about a, a, a young lady who received her word at the midnight prayer and her father was delivered. A word came for a man of age 50 plus or minus 2 and the man was found by a dam, drunk, dead drunk, defecating and urinating on himself, unable to control himself, and they called the daughter to rescue him. This man at that age had not been able to be settled maritally. Both him and the mother of the girl never married and have never married because of alcohol, because of degeneration from that bad drug called alcohol. God's servant in today's write-up in the Seas of Destiny says that alcohol destroys a person's system on earth and ultimately leads to one's eternity in hell. It has been established that one example of evil money are proceeds from the sale of alcohol, tobacco, dangerous drugs, and other harmful substances. The consumption of these substances leads to the destruction of the lives and destinies of people. When a person markets or sells products like cocaine, heroin, LSD, that's lysergic acid, diethylamide, a substance, a synthetic crystalline substance, which is a powerful hallucinogenic drug causing hallucinogenic. Uh, hall hallucinations. hallucinations in people when they take it. Indian hemp or marijuana, gin, lager beer, and so on, that it destroys people's lives. The proceeds from the sale of such products is evil money, and those who consume them are also subject to the effect of the evil substances. In last Tuesday's healing and deliverance service, a man came with his wife from Lagos, a Ghanaian lady married to a Nigerian into ministry, and an ancestral spirit of alcoholism came on her. The father died of alcoholism, and she came oppressed by alcohol. She would drink six containers of that gin, that green dry gin that was 60% alcohol. That's almost the concentration of methylated spirit. Nothing but destruction. And that woman was delivered on this altar. Mesmerized, dazed, disgraced. They would find her on the streets. Mature woman with mature children. Those are some of the evils of alcohol. You see, a major destroyer of the liver is alcohol. Alcoholic liver cirrhosis leads to primary liver cell cancer. When alcohol is taken in low doses, it excites the central nervous system. But when it is taken in high doses, 
it depresses the central nervous system. The major cause of bronchogenic carcinoma or the cancer of the lungs is tobacco smoking. When a person is making money out of destroying people's lives, that money is evil money. When a person sells cocaine or heroin or other kinds of harmful substances and gets money as proceeds of those iniquitous products, such money is evil money. Alcohol destroys one body system on the earth and also destroys the body system and leads to an eternity in hellfire. So, the one who sells the alcohol to people and destroys their life here on earth assists them into eternal damnation in hellfire. Nothing can be more evil than that. And such a person too will not escape that hellfire. Beloved, do not participate in or sponsor anything that will destroy people's lives on earth and ultimately take them to eternal damnation in hell. Remember this, that alcohol destroys a body system on earth and ultimately leads to eternity in hell. Two assignments. Make up your mind not to take alcohol and such substances, prohibited drugs and stuff like that. And also, make up your mind not to market them. Number two, refuse to facilitate the destruction of other people's lives. And thirdly, ask God for the grace to be an example of godliness to others. Let's pray together this morning. Say, Lord, help me not to be a stumbling block to other people's lives. Through my practices, I receive the grace to avoid every form of illegal practice. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Early hours of this morning, I had the leading to pray for people and to let somebody know that the rapture will be taking place very soon. One day, the trump of God, the trumpet of God will blow. And the dead in Christ, the Bible says, will arise first. And then those who are alive shall be caught up together in the air with the Lord. But if your life is not right, if your life is not in right standing with God, the possibility of being left behind is very high. Are we ready? If the trumpet sounds today, are we ready? Will we hear it? Will we be able to be caught up? Or will we be left behind for the Antichrist? What are the things in your life that you know inside your heart, your heart of hearts, that if the rapture takes place today, you will not be able to make it? Do you want to lay them aside? Do you want to finally say no to sin? And finally say no to that bitterness and that malice and that anger and the backbiting and the evil vices. Are you ready to finally say, the way I clash people behind their backs, set up people for their destruction, I, 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 will, I will not be part of that again. Or maybe you are, the alcohol we just talked about, or the hard drugs. Or maybe some other form of sin. I'm not here to condemn you, but it was such a strong burden. God wants our deliverance. God wants us to be ready. And you are here this morning, I want to say, Pastor, I want to be ready for the rapture. I want to be ready for eternity in heaven. I want to make it with God anywhere you are. 
lift up your hands and let me pray with you and put that devil to shame tell the devil you are not taking me to hell with you hell was made for only satan i want to make the rapture i want to make heaven stand up on your feet don't just lift your hand stand up on your feet put that devil to shame say today is the end of living in sin i want jesus to be the lord of my life i want to be ready for the rapture i want jesus to say well done thou good and faithful servant enter into the joy of your lord anywhere you are standing pick up your bag pick up your bible whatever you came with step forward here let's pray quickly Let's pray quickly. Tell the devil, Satan, you will not have me. I cannot suffer on earth and go and suffer in hellfire. I cannot suffer on earth and go and suffer again in hellfire. I cannot be enduring the calamities of this life and go and endure any more calamity in hellfire. Oh God, I want to make the rapture. I don't want my life to end in destruction. I don't want my life to end in reproach. Oh God, I don't want to be ashamed. I want to be your child. When that rapture takes place, I want to be caught up together with Jesus in the air. Anywhere you are, pick your bags, pick your Bible. If you are watching on Online. I want you to stand up from your seat where you are watching and stand in front of the television screen. If you are watching on your phone, just stand up in honor of God as we're about to pray this prayer this morning. I don't want my life to continue in sin. I don't want to continue the way I have been going. I know I'm not the worst sinner, but I want Jesus to help me. I want to be right and ready. I don't want to be in regrets. I don't want to say, hey, I had this sin, but look at Please, me. as you come, you come with your Bibles and your bags. Except somebody is on your seat, so, you don't, so nobody picks it. And be no more when all shall fail. One day, eternity shall start for all, both great and small. One yet out don't wait until something terrible or drastic happens to you or don't wait until it is actually too late to make the decision that woman didn't know that death was coming for her thank God where she was going she was going with a pure white garment many people don't have such opportunity to go and return back and some just go straight and it is to hellfire anywhere you are you are saying pastor I've given my life to Christ before but I'm a victim of addiction I'm a victim of smoking lying duping, fraud bitterness unforgiveness I'm fully sure that God is not happy with me and if my life continues like this, I cannot make heaven at the end. Stand up on your feet still. 
and come and join us. Carry your Bibles. Carry your bags. I want a lifestyle broken. I want an addiction broken. I want to be delivered. You take the second verse of that song. Now I'll give you the count of ten. Stand on your feet. Put the devil to shame. Don't say who is somebody's looking at me. No, it doesn't matter now. One. Two. One day we shall step in. We shall step in. Two. To the city. Of endless days. Of Three. Endless Keep coming. Days. One day. As you come, come with your Bibles, please. Your bags. Don't leave your things on the seat. Five. Keep coming. One day. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep coming. I see you. Ten. Again, one. One day. Before the Lord. We shall behold, we shall behold the cloudless skies. The cloudless skies. One day, one day, we shall walk by. We shall walk by the crystal sea. The crystal sea coming out of the throne. Out of the throne. One day, keep coming. We shall enjoy. We shall enjoy the tree of life. The tree of life in paradise. In paradise. The drum shall sound. The drum shall sound. The dead in Christ. The dead in Christ shall arise first. Shall arise first. prayer after me a minute say after me Lord Jesus I come before you today to surrender my life to you in the name of Jesus I ask for mercy I ask for forgiveness for my sins today it is my decision to follow you no turning back from today forward ever backward never thank you lord in jesus name and i'll pray for you today i take authority over that spirit of ungodliness unrighteousness iniquity i declare the hold broken grace to live for god is released upon him in jesus precious name Deliverance from any ungodly life, unholy habit is yours now in Jesus' name. If you are addicted to any drug or any al or alcohol or tobacco or anything, you can place your hand on the tongue as a point of contact. 
and see after me say I reject addiction today in the name of Jesus I refuse addiction say today my taste buds are set free my receptors in the brain are set free from every attraction every appeal and every desire for the ungodly and the unholy in the name of Jesus thank you Lord in Jesus name your hand remains there as I take authority over every crocodile devil of addiction Leviathan spirit of addiction every serpent of addiction get out in the name of Jesus help her I declared, yes, help her right there. He, help him. I declare the whole broken the addiction, prostitution addiction, immoral addiction, lesbian addiction, addiction to cocaine, addiction to crack, addiction, addiction to tobacco to cigarette, addiction to alcohol, addiction to lesbianism. Yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands now. I need someone filled with the Holy Ghost. Some of our prayer people be at the back of the mic. Lift up your hands and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. Thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for coming into my life. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit take, your place take your place in my life in today. My life. In the name of Jesus. Name Jesus. Of Jesus. Lift your hands. When you get born again, the next thing that happens is the infilling of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes upon you or comes flows out of you, causes you to speak in, 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 the, in the language of the Spirit, to speak in tongues. That becomes a seal of your, of your, of your salvation, the seal of you, sealing of your redemption. And then you are able to walk in the power of God that makes you to be able to say no to the devil and to live uprightly and live righteously. So when I say in the name of Jesus, receive the Holy Spirit, you open your mouth and begin to speak and as you begin to speak you are not going to speak in English or in your language you are going to speak the language of the Holy Spirit tongues and when it starts flowing you may not understand what you are speaking you may not understand what it means but to let it flow when I say in the name of Jesus receive then you open your mouth and begin to speak lift your hands everyone father thank you for your children the con congregation can you stand up on your feet and let us join them as well also shift in levels in our speaking in tongues I'm praying in the spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, Holy spirit. I, welcome you I welcome you in my life. In my life. Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, thank you, thank you for, dying for dying for me. Thank you, thank you for, the for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Holy spirit. Father, Father, thank you, thank you for, sending for sending your son, your son Jesus, Jesus, to die for me. To die for me. Today, Today, I receive, I receive the, gift the gift of the Spirit. Of the spirit. I, receive I receive the infilling, the infilling of, the of the Spirit with the evidence, with the evidence of speaking. Of speaking. With tongues, with tongues right now. Right now. Lift your hands. Father, let it be. In the name of Jesus, I command you, I declare, receive the infilling of the Spirit with the evidence of speaking with tongues. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three, receive. Up your mouth and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Loud, loud, loud. Pray louder. Louder, louder, louder. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray. Pray, pray, pray. Receive, 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 receive. Jesus precious name lift your hands for a second touch of his power 
Father, let it flow. Let it flow. Receive the infilling of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking with tongues. That's right. That's right. Let it flow. In the name of Jesus, one, two, and three. Receive. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Receive! <laughs> Let it In Jesus' precious name, get your two hands and give him the praise. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. Be glorified and be honored in Jesus' name. Counselors, please go with them. Speak with them briefly and then return them back to the sanctuary. If you left your thing at, on your seat and somebody is watching, for, watching it for you, excellent. Otherwise, it's good to pick whatever you left on your seat. God bless you. Give the Lord a praise as they proceed. If anybody is to return back to the seat, please. Ushers will follow them and ensure they return back. Quiet. Please be seated.
Messi, io Messi, voglio Messi, io Messi, io Messi, io Messi, it's my helpline, e io ma papà è ancora, e me la helpline, Helpline 
easier And my lifeline And my lifeline Through all eternity Lift up your hands and just worship him. Lord, I do not place my faith in my own right. Lord, I place my faith in your mercy alone. And for your mercy is my help life in the earth. And my lifeline throughout all eternity. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. The worship. The supremacy, the dominion, the rule. The sovereignty. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a praise, please, and take your seat. I welcome everyone here to this healing deliverance service. It is the day the Lord has made. And we are rejoicing and we are glad in this day. Hope in God is the subject of our preaching this morning. And the objective is to understand the impact of hope in God. Psalm 42 and in verse 11. He said, why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance. And my God. Is, is everything okay somewhere there? Somebody making a sound or something? I shall yet praise him who is the held of my countenance and my God. One of the greatest tragedies of our world today is the tragedy of hopelessness. We live in a world where hopelessness is easy. Despair. Discouragement. The number of people who have given up on life giving up on themselves, giving up on the nation. There are plenty. But hopelessness is a tragedy. It's a disaster. What is the impact of hope? Number one, hope is key to health. 
I shall yet hope in him who is the health of my countenance. It is possible for people to lose their health when they have lost their hope. Hope is key to health. Psalm 43 and in verse 5. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me, hoping God? For I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. Hope is key to health. Many are sick today, not because there is a virus or a bacteria in their body. But because hope is not there. They are weak. They are tired. They are exhausted. They have all such symptoms. Because hopelessness and depression, they go hand in hand. When people are hopeless, they are inevitably depressed. And when you are depressed, you are oppressed. Number two, hope in God. Equals help in life. Hope is key to help. So hope in God is equal to health. Number two, hope in God equals help in life. Psalm 121 verse 1. I will look up to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. Looking up and not looking down means hope. I am hoping in God from whence comes my help. I have always said, you cannot be helpless if you are not hopeless. That as long as your hope is in place. Help is on the way. People are only helpless when they become hopeless. It is hard to help a hopeless person. Jesus wanted to help a hopeless man. He said, will you be made whole? He said, I have no man to help me. Put me in the words. Help has already come. Yet he was, he was ignoring the help. Despite his hopelessness, mercy just assisted him. Hope equals help in life. Number three, hope in God is key to light of life. They looked up to him and they were lightened. Psalm 34 verse 5. If you are going to get any ray of light. That's why they call it ray of hope. If you are going to get any ray of light from God. There must be hope in God. It's key to light. Light means direction. Light means illumination. Light means revelation. So when you are hopeless, you hardly get direction. You don't know what to do. When you are hopeless, you hardly get revelation out of the Bible. Because with joy shall you draw waters from the wells of salvation. When you are hopeless, everything is dark. Hope. In God. is key to light. Of life. Number four. Hope in God. Equals end of shame. Is the guarantee of end of shame. 
Psalm 34 verse 5. They, they looked up to him and they were enlightened. And their faces were not ashamed. All of those who trust in you are never put to shame. And those who trust in you can be afraid. Oh Lord, all of those who trust in you are never put to shame. And those who trust in you can never fail. All of those who trust in you are never put to shame. And those who trust in you can be afraid. Oh Lord, all of those who trust in you are always in triumph. And those who trust in you can never fail. If you ever hung around my mother for half an hour, you will hear that statement plenty times. Hey, Lord, those who follow you are, can never be ashamed of. Those who trust in you can never, shame never catch them all. Repeatedly is her worship. <laughs> shame can't catch people who follow you. Shame can't catch you. Lord, integral part of prayer. Both from experience and from observation. Anybody waiting for you to be ashamed, they will wait until they die. All I can beg you is don't lose your confidence in God. Don't drop your confidence for any reason. I say it again. Anybody waiting for you to be ashamed, they will wait until they die. When they say, yeah, yeah, what has your church, church produced? No, they will wait until they die. Except it's not God. Except it's something else you are serving. Or someone else you are serving. When Kaduna, this weekend, I'll show you the clip just now. God honored himself. Glorified himself. Overwhelmingly. To let everyone know that he is the God of all weather. And he is in, he's in charge of any, every situation, every land, every territory. That our lives and destinies are not dependent on happenings and events of the hour. That Jehovah God is a constant. And if you are connected to him, the things about your life are a constant. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. Somebody say a louder amen. amen. Somebody shout the loud most amen. amen. Hope in God equals end of shame. Number five, are you ready for this? This is very exciting. Hope in God is the guarantee of change. That is, story must change if you don't lose hope. Is the guarantee of change. If a man dies, shall he live again? Job 14, 14. All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. I will wait until something changes. I will wait until something changes. I'm waiting on God. Hoping God is the guarantee of change. Someone say a loud amen. Someone say a loud amen. Someone say a loud amen. Somebody say the Lord must amen. And number six, hoping God is the top. Of life is the top, or rather, call it the fountain of life. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and in verse 4, he said, For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. 
For a living dog is better than a dead lion. If you are joined to the living, there is hope. It is correct the other way. If you have hope, you are connected to life. Hope makes you, hope grants that connection to life. You know, people talk about dying when hope is flat. When hope is zero. So what is life all about? What is the use living? Is death not better than this? And actually move on to try to commit suicide. But as long as hope is in place, no devil can suffocate you before your time. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. Somebody say the loudest amen. amen. What is the counsel this morning? Number one. Whatever happens, you must refuse to lose hope. Say it another way. That is an addendum or an addition. If you wake up and you realize that you still have life and have breath, you must refuse to lose hope. That is, anything is still possible for as long as you are, as long as you are still alive. Anything. For to him that is joined to the living, there is hope. That is, if you are still alive, there is no cause for loss of hope. Ecclesiastes 9 4. There is no cause for loss of hope. Another way to say it it doesn't matter what you lost, refuse to lose hope. A good friend may leave you, you may lose some money in certain investment, you may have lost your job. But if you have not lost your hope, Everything is still under control. Someone say it loud, amen. amen. Number two, continually charge your hope with the word. The word of God. Psalm 119 verse 49. Remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. Your word gives me hope. How many of you almost lost hope and you came to church and you just, your hope came alive like today? Your word, so you charge your, your hope with the word. Somebody may be asking me, so what's the difference between hope and faith? Because faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God and hope also I am charging my hope with the word. Very slim difference. Hope is the refusal to give up, to give up on God. Give up on life. Based on the fact that you know that God is real and that your change is coming. Hope is the refusal to give up. The refusal to give in. That's hope. And you can charge it with word. Faith, on the other hand, is when hope is taken further. I am not giving up. God said he will do this. And I know he will do it. And in order for me to confirm that I believe that God will do it, I am taking these steps. I am taking these steps. I am making these moves. So I will do my part so God can do his part. So faith, hope is confidence in God 
that is rooted in the mind. That's hope. Faith is confidence in God that translates into action. In hope, your mind says, I am not shifting. In faith, your action says, there is a job out for me. Um... And so I am stepping out and I'm going to get that job. Faith has works. It has actions. Hope is mind and emotion mind rooted. The major action of hope is the refusal to be downcast. Is the refusal to be depressed. It is not it is not as physical as faith. In faith, God says he will supply my need according to his riches in glory. And he asked me to give. So by faith, I am giving and now expecting him to supply. Do you understand? In hope, there is a possibility mentality. In faith, there is a responsibility acceptance. Your mind is positive. There is a possibility mentality in hope. There is a responsibility acceptance with faith. You move to do things, to take steps, to live, and to act based on the fact that you believe. That God will do it. So, earlier on in the 80s, some people, they downplayed hope so much. They're just hoping, hoping, hoping. Yeah, hope is a, fra is, is a department of faith. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for. So, if nothing was hoped for, faith can't exist. Faith, hope is like the cement and chippings of faith. It is what you mix to make faith happen. <laughs> so it's not possible for somebody to lack hope and have faith. How? How? How about why? Hallelujah. Is there anybody who has hope here today that things are going to work for you and that life is changing on your side and you believe that hope is going to translate into faith that will produce results? Shout the loudest, Amen! Shout the loudest, Amen! Shout Amen at the top of your voice! Lift your right and say, Lord, thank you because you are my hope. I am my strength. Take a look at what this God in whom you are, you are meant to hope in and eventually have faith in. Look at the things he did at the Cardinal Crusade. Thursday, Friday, just this week. In the heat of kidnappings, banditry attacks, three major onslaught of mass kidnaps in this same month of March, and aside all that dangerous operations, in the middle of that, we stepped in, and Jehovah checked the devil out. Crusade finished on Saturday. All our meetings finished on Saturday. Sunday morning, the first group of mass bandit captives were released in a hurry, without a dime of ransom pay. Go ahead. And let's take a look.
see the appearance that they couldn't hear sound, the devil said they cannot hear sound. is the church in the morning that's the dynamic church in the morning session of our Cardinal State University as well. He has, he has come, he has Cardinal passed, State University. He has come in your generation. Your presence must be found to help him so that your absence will be noticed. Amen. 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 Amen.
Food distribution to the students. We ask for your help. We ask for your mercy to be released upon the university. We ask for fresh grace, fresh help, fresh fire, and fresh passion. In the name of This was dedication of Dynamis Church, Manduru Kaduna. Stand up on our feet. How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? All will see how great. How great. Is our God. How great is our God. How great, O oh Lord, is our God. Sing with me. Sing with me. O oh Lord, all will see. I will see how great, oh Lord, how great is You are the name, oh Lord. And how great is our God, how great is our God, 
sing with me our praise is our God. All will sing our praise, our praise is our God. Lift up your two hands everywhere you are. And begin to speak to God, Lord. I hope in you today. I have put my trust in you. I have put my faith in your word. No matter what comes my way, I shall never afraid there is nothing in this life that can take your place in my life for I know you are always there to help me to the end you are always there to help you are always there to help me even when no one else was there you are always there for me even when I can't feel you even when I cannot Praise you. I still have faith in your word that you are with the for me. Lift your two hands everywhere you are. Let us set a fetal shock of Shatolaya that you are. Lift your two hands high. Higher. And just let God know, say, Lord, my hope is in you. Lift your hands high. Visit someone today. Confirm that we are not wasting our lives. Trust in you. Lift your two hands. Whisper that name. Jesus. I see help coming. My help coming from the throne room of the Lord. Hey! My help coming from the ruler of the heavens and the earth. I have lifted up my eyes unto the Lord. My help coming from the throne room of the Lord. My help coming from the ruler of the heavens and the earth. I have lifted up my eyes unto the Lord. 
When I say the name of Jesus, you scream at the top of your voice, I receive. While screaming, I receive, you place your hand on your head, receiving his intervention, receiving his visitation, receiving his healing, receiving his deliverance. Lift your hands high. Father, let your help come. Let your help come. Let your help come. Let your help come. Father, let it come. In the name of Jesus. One, two, and three. I receive. Receive. Mashata <laughs> Lift your hands and give him the prayer. While you screamed, I received. Over a hundred people here right now. A deposit from the devil just left you. Out of that, over a hundred people, that's right. Arrow on the chest, arrow of death and destruction. In over 20 people, got retrieved and refired back to hell. Amen. Leave! Amen. Check yourself quickly. And rush to the front. Confirm that something left you. The devil left you. Symptom left you. Affliction left you. Disease left you. Quickly. Oh, Shibarere! Where are you taking her to? What's happening? Here, yeah, somebody is coming from here. Push him up there. Don't tell me, Senator. Please attend to her. What upside down kind of work is that? Tarisha Ware. Oh, Shibare. Oh. Invisible God. You are my miracle worker. We worship you, O oh Lord. Oh, Shibarere. Oh. Hey. Oh, Shibarere. Oh, oh Batauri. Tari Shawore. Oh. Somebody with a lump in the armpit. Is it the right armpit? A lump just disappeared. Can you check it right now and run to the front and let me know? A lump, a growth, right in that ampit there. Might be connected to a breast lump. Where's the person? Growth in the in the in the ampit. You are the one. Step over here. She and her as well. Oh, she then and her as well. Yes, with excruciating pain. Just Where the left. right ampit? Yes. 
Bohaz is left. Bohaz is right. For how long? What's your name? What of you? Lift up your two hands. Step, move here. Lift your hands, someone, and say after me, every mountain, every mountain. in my life, in my life. You, are you are removed now. All your mountain, all your marks, they said, go to hell. Wow. I see unclean spirits that left. Quickly check yourself what you couldn't do before. You are doing them right now. Let us know. And quickly run to the front. What happened? Ovarian cyst for over a year with excruciating pain just left now. She thought she can't feel the growth anymore. Go! And return back no more. Back to hell. Next question. Ten years also. You said something was leaving people's chest instantly. She felt something left her chest it and changed. that pain is gone. Power of the Holy Ghost. Spirit of madness just left. Spirit of insanity just left. You came here with someone whose mind is not correct. Speak to them right now. You'll confirm that the mind is normal. Yes. Sir, as though she stepped on something, anytime she goes to her business place, she feels this heat burning on the leg. She came in with that pain, that hot sensation. As soon as the word went forth this morning, all those burnings over. Over. Jesus name. Yes. God's servant said that someone with pain on the chest and now like an arrow on the chest. He said she's had this heart palpitation and also painful pain on the chest for over 10 years. As soon as the word went forth, all of it took back to hell. Lift your hands. Back and that her. demonic injection, whether it was in the dream or wherever that injection came in your system i declare it turn back to hell demonic injection yes why amen mr Ahmed came down to stroke two weeks ago couldn't lift the left and the left leg couldn't walk at all and now as the chart of i receive hands are up by the power of god give the lord a praise mr Ahmed. in the name of jesus every demon of paralysis the tenor expired in the name of jesus yes Someone else who couldn't lift the hand, lift it right where you are in the name of Jesus. Lift the hand where you are. You couldn't lift it paralyzed by stroke, paralyzed by crippling condition. And you couldn't lift it the way I'm lifting it all the way up like this. Lift it up and just rush and meet me where I am. If you couldn't do it like this and now you are able to do it, just quickly rush and meet me right here. Yes, go ahead. Who is taking this testimony? Sorry, is of the other religion, sir. He said he's had several failed relationships. Those with the hands that couldn't, don't, don't, don't redirect them. Those with the hands couldn't lift. If you can lift it now, just keep the hand up and come straight. They will place you right here, right here, right here. Yes. Several failed relationships and other negativities. The brother had often told him, come, let's go to church. He refused. Until three days ago, he just told the brother, please take me to church. He came to service today at a shout of, I receive. He said he saw a woman, the same woman that was used to molesting him in the dream. Dark walked out of him. Wow. Yes, sir. And it's of the other religion. What's your name? Abdul. Yeah. Lift up. Abdul. Yaqub. Abdul Yaqub. Lift up your two hands. Father, thank you because of sending that devil out. I stand there as I pray for Abdul Yaqub. I take authority over every tormenting spirit inhabiting your life. Go out and return back no more in Jesus' name. So while praying for her, prophetically, you 
picked on um, injection. Yes, injection on the chest. She said she had a dream where someone was piercing it like a, um, a, a, a pin, a pin on her chest. Afterwards, that pain on the chest, heart palpitation, she was told of heart enlargement. After Somebody stand on your feet and lift your hands and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every evil arrow. Every evil arrow. Return back to send Return us. back to send Now. Us. Now. Let him talk to you first. Every evil arrow return back to hell. Back to send us. Back to send us. Back to send us. Back to send us. One line like this. One person can attend to all of them. All this and one person. Back to send us. Yes. Sinus bradycardia just got healed. She's been having it for, is it three years, you say? Last year. Then also for more than four years. All of them checked out as soon as that declaration came. Step over and here. then she used to feel like half of her body like this was not belonging to her. Like, you know, she couldn't feel it. All restored to normal. Step over here. Congratulations. Jesus name. Power of the Holy Ghost. It's your freedom. Duodena Alsasa was just healed She today. was running out, she running was out, running out. out. She was in excruciating pain. Her husband had actually gone out to look for water to buy for her to drink. Oh, he also has the same altar. He's sitting down there. And you are healed. Well, husband, you are also healed. Come okay. and join wife. Come that, and join wife. Is that okay. him? Is that him? Come. Okay. Come. In the name of Jesus, both of them, they say, no, stand up. I know you are tall, but stand up. Lift up your two hands. Come to In the name that is above every name, Jesus the resurrected Lord. I take authority over that affliction. It's over for Anna. Visitation in your home. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Sir, arrow of insanity just checked out of Yes, I, I mentioned about insanity. Yes, sir. What happened? January this year, the arrow of insanity came on him. He says he thanks God he didn't pull his cloth and practically run mad. Wow. But today in the service, he said he felt something left him. That's right. Free. That devil must live. Stand up if you want something that is not in your life, that does not belong to you to leave you. Place your hand on yourself and say in the name of Jesus, every stranger in my life, in my life. you are living now on your mask. Get set. Shout go. Shatata ba Kona of evil, carry, carry, Kona of evil, carry your load. Kona of evil, carry your load. Give the Lord a praise. What's happening here? Sir, people that couldn't lift up either one or both of their hands. Our sister said she had an accident some two months ago and was operated on that left See the arm. Hand. hand was put in that sling. Yes. The hand was in the sling there. The sling. Oh, this yes, particular sling. Yes, sir. Put it. How was it? That was how Show she us. came with it. Show how you put it in. Your son helps you to put the hand in. Incredible. And what happened just now? Hand can go up. She said for the past two months she couldn't do that. She's wow. lifted that hand. And now the hand is up. Are you just looking like that? Give the Lord a praise, everybody. Sing. Every you, only you, only you, only you, only you. Only you, 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 only Everything. 
thing that was not working in your life begins to work today. Amen. It is well with you. Stand with her. Gently, 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 gently. Yes. She said affliction on both hands and both legs, but now. For how long? For three weeks now. I can't wear my clothes. My husband, I used your to. Your husband wears you your clothes. Yes. We'll hold this for you for a moment. We'll give it back to you shortly. Come, lift it up. Can't wear your cloth. You can see there is still a lot of struggle to leave the hand. Drop it now. What is it? Is it rheumatoid that tried? What? Take it up again. Hold this for me. Drop it now. Drop it Go! Jesus name! In the name of Jesus. What happened to her? Right hand couldn't lay it for some time. Left hand. For how long? One year now. One year now. Leave it up. What did you say left you? Darkness left you. And then you can leave the hand now. You are the God of change it now. Tell me. You are the Lord that change it now. Fire. Every trace of darkness in your life leaves now. You are the Lord that change it now. You are the Lord. 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 You are the Lord that change it now. You are the Lord that changed your know. Yes. She said for some months now that left hand couldn't lift. But at that declaration, she lifted the hand and then it's up there. Our brother was attacked a couple of uh, 2021. The left hand couldn't lift. Somebody, God is showing me somebody with a liver disease. You ate food. Swallow. In the dream with palm oil soup. In the day, affliction started, and the next thing they call it liver disease. Are you the one? Can you just ask him? Ask, ask him. Yes, go ahead. T tell me. She said for a couple of months now that left hand couldn't lift. But now power sought into it and then it is up. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Celebration, somebody. You are the Lord that changed your love. You are the Lord that changed your love. Father, we heard your name. We heard. Father, we heard your name. You just x-ray this man's story like, like a photograph. Keep going. Very accurate. They gave him food to eat. The food you described, they gave him to eat in the dream of the night. He ate it and woke up and began to have liver disease. Hola, hola. His legs were swollen. He was ill. December this year, uh, December last year, he couldn't do anything for himself. He came into the service today, you diagnosed his case, and the pain is gone. Hola, hola. This other man, his own is kidney, not liver. But his own, he says, they give him the food every night. 
every night. What kind of food? Swallow. Uh, and I will see myself in the village every night. Oh my God. In Saifan. Oh my God. Uh, it's a dream. And what happened? And I, since then I've been having liver disease. Liver? Yes, Hepatitis of a sandwich positive. Peace of a oh no. The devil is a pastor. Can you stand up on your feet? Anything they put in your in your body in the dream, can you send it back to hell? Can you send it back to sender? Would you lift your voice and say in the name of Jesus? Name of Jesus. Every evil deposit Every evil in my body, in my, in my system, through enemies, return back, return back to back. hell oh, yeah. now. Uh, Go 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 back to your sender go back to your sender go and check yourself all of you go and check yourself hepatitis negative go back to your sender Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. I saw them afflicting somebody's head in the night. I see they are trying to drive nails or drive things inside the head. The waking up from that dream was the affliction of the head. Looks like a, 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 a tumor in the, in the head. Someone else, that affliction led to mental condition. What was it? Telling my mommy that I can't comprehend. It's as if I was sleep, I was not sleeping well again. I removed the pillow. I said I will go down. They on the they put on the AC. They off it. Please interview and let her hear what I said. I said some people you saw somebody. Dry, trying to drive something into your head like a nail in the dream in the realm of the spirit and they were doing that and then when you got up it looks like there is a, a, a tumor in the brain somebody else like a mental condition yes let's go on with the testimony yes sir she's, that's actually what she said she said she saw them, they were hitting her with a nail on the head, trying to drive it into her head. Oh my God. When she woke up, I see the mental condition, oh wow. you know, the, the, when others are hot, she's not hot. When they are cold, Oh really? She's hot. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that. that I, I yes, thought she was just describing the symptom. No, no. She, she had that encounter she had that where they were like driving a nail into her head nail, yes. and then got up and then this results in the fire! Somebody say every evil arrow. Every evil arrow. We turn back to sender. No. Yes, what happened? Yes. The exact word of prophecy. Six years ago, she woke up and became mad. This For, girl. This girl. She, she, she couldn't recognize herself, can't recognize her mother, leaves the house, wanders on the road until they go pick her home. She'll go out again for days until they bring her home. But they brought her to service today. And while you were standing here and taking authority over the spirit of madness, she looked and, at her mother and said, Mama, I am well. And that mama is for the first time in six years. Hey! Since 2018, she started running out of the house. She will be hitting her head. How are you? What is your name? Christiana. Eh? Christiana. Christiana. Fine, fine name. Who is this? My mommy. Your mommy. Say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you for setting me free. My mind is clear. My mind is clear. And I am normal. Amen. Lift up your hand, baby. Christiana. Bamboo. Kobe Doro. Power, be free. Somebody walk forward here. Come forward and tell us what happened. 
Another person is walking with will crotch lifted. All right, anywhere you are on the wheelchair, stand up and push it. Or anywhere you are with a crutch, lift it up and walk forward. I declare paralysis is broken. I declare broken, broken bones are mended. I declare twisted legs and twist short legs grow out. I command you to be healed and be whole in the name of Jesus. What happened? It's paralysis here for, for more than six years. He said when he want, he want to give back to his, for her last child, then she was paralyzed all over her body. He said she couldn't walk, she couldn't stand like this for the past six years. Why you declare she felt power? She had been using this aid to walk. So when power landed upon her, she walked right from where she are, where she is, and right now she's standing. All trace of pain or paralysis has gone. She can walk now. Congratulations! Lift your hand. You sit on my chair. Fire! Fire! Be healed and behold. In the name of Jesus, bring. Yes, what happened? Diabetic foot. She had diabetes and left her with an injury on the right leg. She came in with the walking stick. And whenever I eat, the, the, the sickness will come over. It is over. It is in the dream that led to fire of the Holy Ghost. Behold, in the name of Jesus. Behold, put it there. Another mama walking right there. Father, thank you for healing that mother. Mama, come. Congratulations. What happened to you? Lord, Lord, thank you, Lord. Ah, it was a year ago I went to my daughter's that delivered. And when we were preparing for education, one night after praying, I slept. And then I saw, uh, I, was, I woke up at my midnight, but I didn't look the time. I saw a snake crawl my two legs. Coiled around your two legs. My two legs. Snake coiled and around her two legs. And since that then, occasioned paralysis. Since then, I couldn't walk. Since then you couldn't walk. I, I said, the snake's on fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands now. In the name of Jesus. Everybody stand on your feet one minute. Stand on your feet one minute. Mashallah. Every satanic deposit. Every living thing. In your body. Feasting on your destiny. Fighting your destiny. They are set on fire today. <laughs> Lift your hands. Right now I take authority. Over serpents that are sucking the children. Of women. Causing miscarriages and abortions. You tormenting serpentine devil. You know that you must obey me. For I address you not in my name, but in the name that is above every name. I command you, serpent, catch fire now. Catch fire and step out. Hey! My, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Fire! Demon of miscarriage. Your tenor expired. Your tenor expired. All manner of serpentine spirits are coming out of the bodies. Coming out of the lives of people. Both those who are suffering from miscarriage and others worshiping serpent altars. I set them on fire. I command the serpents, get out! Out of the bodies, out of the lives, out of the system, out of the system, out of the system. I set you on fire. Let's go, 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 let's go
Yes, the other one can stand up now and sit up there where the creature and then this mama can sit here for one second. All right, give yes, the Lord a praise. I need like two, three testimonies at the most. Yes, and sir. We'll proceed. It was declared that things will be, things are living people. This is the patient. She Please be seated if you can. She has been suffering from conversion for the past three years. Could happen anywhere in the marketplace and places and people will gather. She came in that condition. And while we shouted, I received. She said, she saw a black being left her. The demon of conversion left her. In the name of Jesus. Every demon that has been a torment in your life. Oh, the ocean. That demon is set back to hell. In Jesus' name. So this is our pastor from Yobe. Do you know his pastor? Uh, his is an encounter that validates what God is doing in this house. One, two, three, four, five, say, I'd like him to take himself. So can... Yes, sir. So, sir. First of all, when you were leading the people to Christ, I saw a black dog running out. So as I said, the black dog was running towards the glory, uh, the, 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 the gates. And, the, and I saw arrows brought down the dog. Then, fire, when you climb the altar, fire was leaving the altar to nations, like like uh, bombs, bombs were leaving this altar to nations. So, any nation, the bomb hit, fire exploded immediately. And I also saw that uh, the gates of nations were being opened. Then there was a magnetic pool that started pulling nations to the glory dome. Then the other one, you are anointing the 36 states of Nigeria. All of a sudden, the number one citizen of this country knelt down and handed over the key of the nation to you. Then also, you... I, I saw a, a helicopter hovering around the glory dome and dropping keys. That key could open any door. Finally, the gate of the glory door was open and nations were floating in. Nations were floating in. How many of you are receiving your own key? Lift your hands and receive your own key. Lift your hands and receive your own key. The, 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 the one that has the key of David that opens and no man shuts and shuts and no man opens and say, I've said before you an open door. I declare the opening of the door of the wombs and the opening of the door of businesses, the door of destinies, the door of careers in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Sir, Mr. Okoye came into service this morning with a daughter, she's around that is about three years plus. Hi. She was born SS. And that's been his concern. He goes to hospital every month for medications. A friend called him from Benin and said, are you not aware of what is happening in Dunamis? There is a midnight prayer going on. So, he connected to one of the days. At the end of the meeting, while the servant of God was declaring brutally, he said he went and laid his hand on the television. The little girl was sleeping. From there, he laid the hand he laid on the television. He took it and went and lay on the little, little girl. The next day, he went to the hospital for medication. After they checked her, he couldn't get the drug he was recommended to get. Something spoke to him. Last night, you listened to a declaration. Take your child for, for test, sir. He went and did the first test. Confirmed the baby to be AA. Genotype changed from SS to AA and now resource O positive. Sir, he seems not to be satisfied. He went to another hospital, a government hospital. Air Force Base Hospital. And it was still confirmed. And the baby right now, AA, all symptoms gone, all pains gone. And that other one is the hospital they have been using. And this is the hospital they've been using before. The two results from the commanding the day midnight prayer out. You see, Somebody say, are you not aware of what is happening? See, From Benin City. That is one of the challenges in our generation. People can be near a river. There are people in Lube here, in River Park. Where? Everywhere here. Where, where? They, are, they are not aware. He's still in the airport. Road. airport road. He was in the airport. And somebody in, invited him from Benin to come. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? I, we pray that God will open the eyes of people. Amen. We pray that they, Congratulations, baby. Congratulations. Your healing is permanent. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations, Uncle. Wow. Sir, this is very drastic. This baby is seven months old. 
the mother said she, uh, the baby had a growth that was very visible here. After the declaration, the growth disappeared. She, she has been looking for the growth and can't see it at all. Hola, hola. Oh, yeah. I saw a mother here. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola. So, why taking authority over? Okay, why taking authority over cancerous, cancerous condition? You, God's servant gave a word that there is somebody with a lump under his right hand, and and under the armpit, and uh, and also on the breast. She came in that condition, and that condition has lingered for a very long time. She came with pain, couldn't lift up the hands. At the instance of that word, the pain gone, and she said she couldn't stand this long, and she has been able to stand all this long. And that they query it to be cancerous. It is over. Come over here, mother. Lift up your twice. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every, every demon of malignancy. I curse you. I bind you. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Every fruit and every seed of malignancy, whatever you are, Mahashadi Galaya, all for cancer, I bind you. I curse you to your roots. Dry up. Die and dry. Go. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. disappear, dissipate, disintegrate, dematerialize. Amen. Declare a new season for you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Father, give us a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. A similar testimony here, Sister Glory. One word, multiple effects. Our sister here came with also a lump, pain. Pain on her right breast, left breast precisely. Pain that she couldn't lift up her hands also. In the course of the service, you, God's servant took, take authority, took authority over her pains. And she discovered that she could lift the hands, the pain gone, and she is free. Power of the Holy Ghost. That pain returns back to hell in Jesus' name. So it looks like today is a baby's day. This child was born with bilinary atresia. Came in here, the, the, the abdomen was highly distended. She said the baby has been totally restless and was booked for surgery at Kefi Hospital. You can see there's still some um, jaundice. Yeah. yeah, and then was to be referred to India for liver transplant. She said as the baby came, as they came in this uh, morning, the restlessness cannot, you know, obviously in pain and all that, baby became calm as soon as you declared that liver conditions were being healed. Over forever, in Jesus' name, surgery cancer, and I declare a transplant done by God himself Amen. of brand new liver. Amen. In Jesus' name. Father, thank you because you are the God who creates and you have spare parts. Amen. We receive the parts for this child in Jesus' name. Our sister here sometimes last year she stepped on an object and later discovered that it was a charm they planted by her entrance. She made inquiry in the village and a native doctor there told her it was a charm. That pain continued with a moving object ran about her body, ran about her body. In the course of the service this morning, while God's servant gave the word, she discovered that the moving object stopped. And she could move the leg. Turn back leg. to hell in Jesus' name. Father, I ask that you touch this mother. Let the pain go. Let the legs and the system be free. In Jesus' name. So this lady came in with growth in the uterus. At first was diagnosed as uterine fibroid. Then another doctor told her it was a growth. She came with excruciating pain in the lower abdomen as that be, at the beginning of the service when you prayed, the pains have left. She can touch the freely and she's free. Congratulations. So six years arthritis of the right knee. 
Look at the swelling. Look at the knee. Arthritis of that right knee. She did not know. She did not know when God touched her. She said when she entered the sanctuary, a piece of God came all over her. Peptic ulcer disease vanished. The pain in the leg went away. When, it, when we were worshipping earlier, she didn't know when she went on her knees. She has not been able to kneel down for almost that six years. She knelt down, worshipped God, and she's free. Congratulations. I tried this. The old account was settled long ago. Free! And at the cross, at the cross, when I first saw the light, another arthritis just healed. Arthritis of the fingers. Of she couldn't heart. bend it at all. He at all. Away. It was then perfect. I received my sight. And now, power! I'm happy all the way. Breast tumor vanished. Oh, with, sw with swelling was there and then under the armpit and pain. And it's vanished. It's vanished. Step forward here. Fire is burning. Somebody lift your voice. Say every mountain on my life. You are moving right now. Go to hell. To be the one the Lord's looking for in this last and evil day. God is opening eyes. Place your hand on the eye that couldn't see. As an instrument to some souls who've lost their way. And then to be used as an, as an instrument. instrument that men may see and know. My God is God faithful to get the promise He is made long time, long time ago. And he's coming back. He's coming back again. Yes, he's coming back. He's coming back again. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Bless his name and lift him up. Praise God. He's coming back again. He told us not to worry that he's going to go away. And when he's gone, he's going to be building us a place. And when the time is left, it might be morning, noon, or night. He'll come back. And he's going to take us there. Everybody's singing now. He's coming back. He's coming back again. Everybody say, Yes, he's coming back. He's coming back again. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Bless his name. Praise God. He's coming. Back again. I take authority over the spirit of blindness. I cause you lose your grief, glaucoma, cataract, retinal detachment, astigmatism, presbyopism, witchcraft, blindness, occultic blindness. Lose your grief of these eyes. In the name of Jesus, get out now. Jesus' name, I open, clear, see. In Jesus' name. It's done. Praise God. He's coming back again. He's coming in the clouds with great pomp and majesty. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. God. God.
coming back again. Give the Lord a praise. Open your eyes and see right now. Place your hand on the good eye and begin to see with the eye that was not seen before. See me right here and see what I do and do what I do and do what I do. And if you are able to see to do what I'm doing and you can see what I am doing and you can see what I am doing, you can see what I'm doing, you can see what I'm doing, you can see what I'm doing, you can see it. Yes, they are waiting to see what I'm doing and you can see what I'm doing. You can see what I'm doing. You can see what I'm doing. You can see what I am doing. Quickly come forward here to this front here. Come forward here to this front here and confirm. He is coming back. He's coming back again. Yes, he's coming back. He's coming back again. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Bless his name and lift him up. Praise God. He's coming back. Everybody sing now. Yes, he's coming, 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 coming back again. Oh, 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 oh. All right, step forward here. Yeah. Just the, the, the eyes, the eyes. One line. Glory, hallelujah. Bless his name and lift him up. One line, straight line, straight line. Back again. Bless his name and lift him up. Praise God. He's coming back again. It's her, not you. Your sister. So what happened? Since I was in just two, we usually copy notes online. So since then, it has been affecting my both eyes. Since just two, copy notes online. I wonder why they introduced those kind of. And now your eyes clear. You can see clearly. How bad was it? It was not that bad. I could not see very far. Okay. But now you can see. Congratulations. All right, check. You only came with your big sister. God bless you. What have you? It's these eyes. I can't use these eyes very well. For how long? Yeah, but now I can. For how long? Like five years now. Hold on. Maybe stay here. Stay here. Close it. Close a good one. Which one can you not use? This one. Uh, so this, this is the one to close. Close it with your hand. Open this now and see me. Do as I do. What of you? Congratulations. Remain there. It's my left eye. What happened? Since last month, my birthday was um, 11th of February. So a week, that was on 18th on Sunday, I was sitting down there. So I sense a moving object as if something... Since last week, if yes. everybody tell us this kind of story, we won't leave here today. So how bad was the eye? I cannot see with it. You couldn't it's see with it. Close it. Close the good eye. Which one you cannot see with? All right. Okay, I can see actually an opacity right there. Like, uh, if the camera goes close there, you can see something like a, a cataract opacity right there. Right? Yeah. And so, declare it cleared in Jesus' name. Lift up your hand. Do what I do. Jesus' name. Open, clear. Jesus, what have you? I can't, I can't see with this you can't see with this eye because of glaucoma. Yes. Close this one now. Jesus, name do what I do. Glaucoma blinded that eye. Lift your hands in Jesus' name and it's now open. Give the Lord a praise. What have you, ma'am? You don't see with this since when? Since when? It has stayed. It has stayed. Okay, close this one now. See me now, do what I do. He don't used to see with teeth and she doesn't know how long it is. Only thing she knows is that it has stayed. Don't, don't go yet. All those are, are, that are healed should still remain here. Power of the Holy Ghost. What have you? Last week I started noticing a blurry vision from this right eye. From this right I was given these glasses yesterday. Wow. And today, when I close this one now, I can see You can clearly. see clearly. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Mama. 
uh, uh, the, the, the two eyes, they worry me. They do a prayer for this one. This one, I know they see. But today, I don't have they see. Wow. They do a prayer for this one. And then this one, no, they see. Mm. Since where? Two years. Adameji, two years. Mm. Okay. I'm from Kogi. From Kogi, where in Kogi? Abeji Kolo. Abeji Kolo. Okay. Is it near Igala Mela or Dolo? Gala. Nago. Ah, Nago. I'm not sure. I'm here. Here I am. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. Power of the Holy Ghost. Give the Lord the praise. Father, we give you the praise and the honor that I opens and is clear and clean in Jesus' precious name. What happened here? I've been using uh, glasses as a teenager. And now I'm above 60. You're above 60? Yes. So, just now my eyes got clear. Your eye just cleared. For how long have you been using it? Since I was a teenager. Since you are a teenager, you are above 60 now. Yes, I've been using it. And the eye has. Are you just looking like that? Give the Lord a praise. What of you? I can't read well with this eye because of glaucoma. Because of glaucoma. But now it is clear. Uh, the other one is perfect. Father, thank you because it is gone. What happened? Daddy, my, my eyes got swollen and I, I, did, I didn't actually come for the eyes today. My dad is lying critically ill in the hospital on the oh. early stage. And you mentioned my case. And I, dis, I discovered that these eyes, I can see very well. You can see very well. Because we're inching, I can't even sleep at night. You couldn't even sleep at night and you couldn't yes, see clear, but now it's seen well. Yes, father, this father that is lying down in the hospital, I declare he's healing in Jesus' name. Step over here. What of you? Towards the last week, my eyes just crashing. And night is here. Uh, what of you, Mama? My eye. Eyes healed. Father, thank you. Brand new brain for this child in Jesus' name. Serpent altar. Fire! Fire. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10, 11, 12. Healed. Whose glass was this? All right. You are all permanently healed. Everything that the devil has closed in everyone's life here. Are you ready to receive that? Can you stand up on your feet and receive that? Everything the devil has closed in your life, I declare, open it right now. Now lift your two hands and begin to speak to God and ask him for what you want him to open up in your life today. Those of us in the front. Since November last year, she has not spoken. But it looks like they are lying against her now. <laughs> the mother said, We didn't lie, sir. What's her name? Praise. Say, Jesus. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Hold for me. Because I said they are lying against you, you refuse to talk now. Praise. Talk. Say, Jesus. Say it louder. Louder, louder. Jesus. Say it. Say amen. Oh, no, no, no. It's a devil of mysticism. Oh! Oh! In Jesus' name. Praise. Come. Follow me. Come. Then say what I say. Say Jesus. Good, Jesus. 
Good. Say it's Jesus. Jesus. Say it louder. Say it louder. Say it louder. Go on the devil to hold your attention. Is that what you want to say? You want to cooperate with the devil? Come on. Command that brain to function normal now and signals be received clear. In Jesus' name. Say amen. Amen. She's whole. Say Jesus. Jesus. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey! Somebody stand and celebrate. Praise is free. Praise is healed. Praise is free. 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 November. Since November, since November last year, final year student at ABU. The diagnosis was catatonic, depre catatonic depression. The mother has been bathing her, feeding her, carrying her. Five admissions that she has even had coma. Not, not no walking, no talking, nothing. No eating. My wife will give you one to feed her with me. My wife was feeding her with milk or a camel. But as we connected to commanding the day, we were surprised yesterday. My wife was to feed her. She took it and started eating. By herself. By herself. That was where it started. That was where it started, sir. And now it's perfected. Praise, congratulations. Say, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I am free. I am free. I am free. Are you just looking like that? You come on. Praise can join us too. Go ahead. She's smiling. Hey. You are going hey. you are you are you are going to Are you watching? Are you watching? Are you watching? Are you watching? Do 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 do
Hallelujah. The devil has not allowed you to shout sins. I want you to shout it now. One. Hallelujah. Are you just standing and looking like that? No eating. No talking. No moving. Since last year. Mother has to feed her with pap. She can't feed herself. And today, last night, the mother was bringing the pap. After what she commanded the day, she collected it by herself and drank. Yet no talking, no moving. Pastor came to tell me, he said, there is a final year student from APU here. Since last year was attacked by the devil. It's not talking. There's nothing they haven't done. And that that I should come pray for her. And I came to pray for her. You saw when she spoke at first. The pastor opened his mouth and said, eh? Eh? How? I said, why are people lying against her? Then the devil became so angry. <laughs> He became angry and said, hey, okay, hey, she won't talk again. Not knowing that you don't use red eyes to frighten lion. <laughs> because in the normal state, the lion's eyes are red. That's the normal state without anger, without anger. <laughs> hey! I think today it is enough for us to go. In case you don't remember any miracle today, remember praise. Tell somebody about praise. And praise, I want to let you know God has a great purpose for you. Me and you will talk and discuss later on, and you will fulfill your destiny and fulfill your assignment. You go and finish your university and deal with that devil that wants to deal with you in the name of Jesus. Baby, praise come. Say again, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For setting me free. For setting me free. I will serve you. I will serve you. And fulfill your purpose. Fulfill your purpose. What will you tell mother and father to assure them that you are okay? You. I love you so much. Listen to me, people. This is what our ministry is about. It's not a show. We don't do all the things we are doing only to show. You see, someone said to me that during one of the crusades, we held the crutches up like this. And somebody says, it's a lie, it's not true. They only went and bought the crutches. Or they went and collected crutches. It's not true. They brought the crutches there. And I said to myself, I, I, I will leave medical practice to come and be faking that people are healed. Gimmicks. Fake. No way. There's no, no way. I love myself too much. Too much. To, to come and stand and be fake. Too much. I, I love my, I, I respect myself too much. I have too much personal dignity. I didn't even want to be a pastor at all. Because I, don't, I didn't want to be classified as one of those people looking for people's money. Because I can have money by myself. That's why at times I forget to call offering and to take offering. That's why any day you see me in your house coming to look for money, clean your eyes again. Somebody wore a mask that looks like me. Clone. It's a clone. You will that, that day will never arrive. That day will never arrive. 
crusade, big, that big crusade in, in uh, Kaduna. Yes. For some people, that is five offerings. Let's take the offering to cover this venue. Let's take the offering for this sound. Let's take the offering for this and that. Not one. No one. Not one CC. And not only that. Am I speaking to somebody at all? This is why we see the suffering of this father and this mother since last year. Now, this suffering will continue if not for the power of God today. That's, that's what, that is what ministry is all about. It's not sure. You need to see our, our, our sacrifice. You need to see what we do. When I say people should fast for seven hours, you won't go and eat now. People should, go, should, should fast for seven hours today for the commanding the day from six to seven. For me, that is not fasting yet. Because on a normal day, I haven't eaten breakfast by one. That's not, I mean, so do you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't know the last time. Okay. Do you understand what I'm, so people don't know anything. This is, this praise kind of miracle. The type that came the other day with the shoulder and vegetable, with the neck and leg, those type, that is the reason why we are here. The addiction, 30 years of pornographic addiction, masturbation, alcoholism, that is why we are here. Just let the world know that God is real and real miracles exist. How many of you have ever seen, you have ever seen fake 5,000 Naira note? Fake 5,000. Why? There's no real fake. Because real there 5, is no 5,000 note. So the only reason why there is a fake is because an original exists. Hey! Hey! If you ever see anything that is fake, don't conclude that everything is fake. There is something that is original. You haven't seen a fake 5,000 Naira note because there is no original 5,000 Naira note. You can see a fake 1,000 Naira note because there is an original 1,000 Naira note. Anything that has fake has its original. Don't because of the fake ignore the possibility of the original. Father, we give you the praise. Praise this miracle is the conclusion of the service today. Stand up on your feet. Everybody dance your way back to your seat. Those who are yet to be healed, on your way home, I declare your healing, your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, leave. Fulfill your days in Jesus' name. final testimony for today but praise testimony has a counterpart it is generated other testimony it generated this testimony this girl is standing like this for the first time in about one year Come. oh you, you can climb 
Again, another engineering student. Yes, sir. That the devil knocked out of school by affliction. Yes. Walk on, baby. St standing and walking for almost one year, the first time. Cousin eat. She was fatter than her mom. This is her mother. Very, Very chubby. chubby. She was fatter than her mother. It is Before over. She says she wants to be a pilot after, after then the affliction yeah. came. No devil can stop your pilotism. Power of the Holy Ghost. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Stand up on your feet, everybody. That's your way back to your seat, everyone. Those who have all the all of this, you can give it to my girl. This girl was brought in here today. This girl is immobile for about one year. This is beyond wheelchair. This is beyond stretcher. This is how they have they carried her. Come, come, come. Move on. This is how they brought her today. And she has not been walking for almost a year. Or standing. Not just walking, but standing. All right. Now... Show us how she can move now. Eh? Yes. Are you people looking all like that? Hey! I don't know what your case is today, but I am anointed to announce to you, it is done. Stretch your two hands in front of you. I prophesy upon your hands. I decree that your harvest will look for you from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Systems are put under pressure. Pressure of loss of peace, loss of sleep, and loss of rest until all that is yours enters your hands. I declare it is done. In Jesus' name. Take, take your seat and pick up your offerings. Have we done that? Pick up your offerings and tithes and pledges and honor God. Massive altar call was given at the beginning, but if you we are not a part of that altar call and you want to give your life to Christ, pick up your Bibles and bags and quickly step forward here. Alongside that, those people are those who are in Dunamis Church for the first time. Quickly pick your Bibles and step to the front. And then, those who want to become full members of this church. You are hearing of commanding the day, healing and deliverance service. And you are hearing of services with miracle signs and wonders. I don't know about you, but I think that instead of going to the restaurant to smell the food, I, I, I better just come there and settle and just sit down in that restaurant. If God is connecting you and God is leading you in this direction, don't waste your time. Don't waste too much time. They that be planted in the house of our God, they shall flourish. Step forward and get planted. Get planted. Get planted. Don't have a supermarket approach to God. That is, I came to carry a miracle and go. No, no, no. Have an, have an institutionalist approach, an establishment approach. I came to settle so that whatever God has for me can be established in my life. I came to settle. Come quickly and let us receive you. And all those 
who have their offerings lifted up. And Father, in the name of Jesus, bless the giving of everyone. Let the hands lifted never drop to bed. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' name, amen. You have your offerings, drop it quickly. Can do Calypso. Oh, great I am. Lord, you are worthy, Lord, of our praise. You are worthy, Lord, you are worthy, Lord, you are worthy, Lift your offering. Father, multiply the habits of every giver. Let the hands lift and never drop to bed forever in Jesus' name. The Lord of our praise. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, Lord. Many paralyzed people have stood up and walked today. Those of you on the wheelchair, feel free to stand and move in the name of Jesus. He says, silver and gold have I known, but such as I have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. That's right. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everybody stand up on your feet. In the name of Jesus. 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 Power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, that's right. It is well with you, mother. I can see there's so much pain. Is that pain on the knee? In the name of Jesus, what condition is that? She's trying to open her phone. Oh, it's oh. Oh no. There is one from my degree. Hold this mic for me. What was it? What is the diagnosis? Everything came out. Fire! Be healed! Behold! It is done. It is done. Jesus' precious name. A very, very terrible satanic lesion at the back right there. It, from this moment forward, it dries up. It dries up and you walk on your feet. Thank you, Master. Those of you in the front here, you are welcome. Our counselors will receive you on our behalf. Can everybody stand on your feet now? Have you dropped your offerings? Lift your hands. your two hands. I prophesy upon everyone here today. I declare the release of God's help. The release of God's mercy. All the miracles, the signs and the wonders we saw today. Anyone you desire in your life and if there's something that happened today that is not in line with what you are trusting God for, I declare yours is released in the name of Jesus. HIV is cleaned out of the blood in the name of Jesus. Hepatitis is cleaned out of the blood in the name of Jesus. Cancer dies to its roots 
in the name of Jesus, body parts are being released. Children are being released in the fruit of the womb. Blocked, fallopian tubes are being unblocked. Go forth. Return with your testimony. In Jesus' precious name. 2024. And above only. Where is your place? And above only. God bless you. See you online. Oh, hold on a minute. Tomorrow, midweek service is the last teaching on faith for the month. But coming Friday is Good Friday Worship and Wonders Night with Dr. Ron Kinoli all the way from America. Already in Nigeria, it's going to be a most explosive time in God's presence. Other music guests shall be joining him. And we shall be having a special edition of the Commanding the Day. Midnight prayer drawing from the power of Calvary. Anywhere you are, ensure you are here in person for Good Friday Worship and Wonders Night and Commanding the Day. The theme is, it is finished. Whatever the devil is tormenting your life with, is finished on that night. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you. God keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' name. And 2024. And above only. 2024. And above only. God bless you. Celebrations. Those in the front, please, our counselors will speak with you. Ensure that you speak with them. God bless you. Cancel us over to you. Oh, <laughs> 